Hello gems, welcome to the Sapphire Star. In this video, we are gonna be learning how to cut up hair for a live 2D cubism model or for your VTuber. Let's get into it. All right, so next is the hair. The hair is gonna be very different for everybody. I'm very aware that everybody has a different model, but I'm gonna try to make as many as these as possible as I continue to make live 2D characters for you guys to be able to dissect how should I cut up the VTuber model. For this one specifically, my hair, I will go through and show you how it is separated. You can do bigger sections. You can, like, if you want it to separate the bangs to be all these bangs as one piece, that's fine, but you're gonna have less control. The more you separate it, the more control you have for the physics. So that's the key takeaway here. So I have everything into its own separate parts. So like here's the side, the sideburns, these side pieces. So you can see already a theme here. And again, you'll be able to see the full breakdown in the Google doc, which will be in the discord. I'll give that to you. I'm not gonna pull every single piece out here uh, for, the take a for, the, for the sake of time on this video. But as you can see, I have all that separated there. It's just all its own piece and it's with its own it's line art as well. You could separate the line art if you wanted, but again, it's gonna be like way more intense if you separate the line art too. For the hair, I think it's good enough to have the line art with it. I think it's fine. Uh, so again, here's like an example of the bangs being separated and you wanna kind of make it, you can make the top like blended. You see how that's kind of blended and loose to be able to fit well. So this is, this is all just separated into its own pieces. That's how you would separate that. You can, if you have like little sections, little like spikes flipping out, you can do like each spike as their own section as well. Something that's really important to uh, keep in mind as well for the hair is if you want to get a very 3D looking model, you're going to want to have the back of the hair and I'll show you that in a few seconds. So here's another example too of like a piece that goes behind the body because when you get into live 2D, the hair is going to be moving like this, right? Like back and forth physics. So just test stuff if you have to, like pull the piece away and like turn it if you need to. See how this is a full piece of hair even though it's behind her because there's a, a chance that it would poke out for some reason. So here's another example. There's like a hair that's behind her. Let's talk a little bit about about the, the back of the hair, the actual back of the hair. So here's one piece of the back of the hair. I have it pretty solid back there. I have some constellations here as well because I'm gonna be doing like this parallax thing when the hair moves, the galaxy is gonna move behind her hair. I'll be making a YouTube video on that as well. So definitely keep up to date on the channel for that. Uh, so yeah, basically the back of the hair, I just have into sections. So like this is the left back. It's literally just a blue square. That's fine. Uh, for the back of the hair, right? Blue square as well. I'm gonna have to fix that. That shouldn't be there. Uh, and then the hair top behind. So this is what I'm talking about for 3D. So remember, you're gonna be turning your character to be like looking left and right. So I have a whole back piece. This is how you get some really 3D looking models as you really start stacking the layers. You really start stacking the layers. So if we go to like transform to store on this piece of hair right here, I can like, once you're in live 2D cubism, when I have her looking to the left, we'll be like having the skull this way and it'll be pulled back and it'll look like her, her head is turning like this and her whole head will start shifting. So very important to have like a back piece of hair like that if you wanna get that really 3D looking model, even though it's a 2D piece of art. That's very important. Uh, lower hair again, this is this is just lower pieces. This is just some extra stuff to show you guys. And then I believe I have a whole nother back hair section. Here it is as well. And then I have the, the constellation layers clipped to the back of the hair so it can do something called the parallax, which is where it moves when her hair moves and when the physics move. So, uh, and again, we'll, we'll be talking more about that once we dive into actually rigging this model. So yeah, make sure these are all full pieces all full pieces and if you're doing like a cutoff you can just have it end where it blends into the hair or kind of have a cutoff like that. So another thing you could do, I might fix this, I might change this. I don't know yet how it's gonna work so we'll see but I have something called the hair twirls. So like here's an example of a hair twirl right here. You can have the whole piece like this or if I wanted to get it even crazier I can split it into like this is piece number one right here. Let me use like let me grab a little a little thing so you guys can see. So we can separate it into like um let me get like a more of a red. This piece could be like number number one, this could be number two, this could be number three. So you could break it down like that too, to have more control, but then this piece would probably be extended. Like there'd be, there, this whole piece would be filled like this so that if I needed it to move up or down, you'd have that showing behind. That makes sense. You could, you could break it down further. I didn't for this one. I might change that. I don't know yet. This is just my first version of this model. So I'm not sweating it. We're probably gonna have to go back and make some changes for like another version, but we're not sweating it too hard for the first one because we got to figure out how it, this whole model works in live 2D first. So there's a breakdown of the hair that should be that should be good for giving getting you started at least on understanding hair a bit. If you're looking for a video to watch next, I highly recommend you hop into my Live 2D Cubism series to start getting a head start on how to actually use Live 2D Cubism. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, Jim.